Recently, I have been catching myself feeling more and more overwhelmed by the news that I hear online and just generally being more mentally tired from the COVID fatigue. And I was craving the state of calmness and balance. So today I wanted to talk about how we can keep our heads clear and stay calm in these anxious times. I feel like very often the first thing we do in the morning is reaching intuitively for a phone. And by the show of hand, I'm definitely guilty of that. What I realized happens when I reach out for my phone the first thing when I wake up is that I open that flow of information, updates from friends and the news and the influencers online just going at me the first thing in the morning and I don't remember anymore at all what was my intention for the day, what I was planning to achieve, what was my plan for the day. I feel like this action first thing in the morning puts my mind into the fight and flight response and just gives me that unnecessary rush of adrenaline that I'm not necessarily looking for as the first thing in the morning. So within 10-15 minutes after waking up my mind is not clear anymore and I literally don't remember what is my intention because my mind is so occupied with what XYZ is doing online or what are the news from a specific country. So what I found really helpful for me was to create a simple mindful morning routine. So let me repeat, simple mindful morning routine. And here you might think about these morning routines that you see different influencers show online, like uh, meditating for 20 minutes and then exercising for 20 minutes and then uh, having an hour long breakfast and doing an hour long skin routine. But this is not what I'm actually talking about. By simple mindful morning routine, I mean one or two actions when you are actually present and when your mind is not getting any information when you're out there maybe you're bored you are right in the moment some simple mindful morning actions that i found that set my mind in the right state is for example petting my dog for five ten minutes just being present around him feeling and enjoying and absorbing that moment or uh, it could be as simple as just doing a five minute skincare routine. When you're there, you feel the warm water on your hands, you feel the water splashed in your face, but you are there, you feel every action that you do. Or it can be something like enjoying your favorite morning drink. For example, I would often make a cup of tea and I would sit at the table and look outside. I have a big window in my living room, so I would just observe what happens outside. Sometimes I would see squirrels or birds and I would be right there present. I will let my mind wander and ponder about everything that's happening around and I just let it be still and calm. I found that these simple mindful actions in the morning set my mind uh, into the right state of clarity that I'm craving and I'm not feeling overwhelmed and overburdened by the information. And these quiet moments easily became my favorite moments of the day that I'm savoring with joy and pleasure before I rush into my everyday life and everyday routine. So my tip for thinking clearly and putting your mind in the state of calm is to have a simple mindful morning action or morning routine, morning habit that is going to let you be in your space, in your head without being overwhelmed by the information. And I really, really recommend doing it the first thing in the morning. That has been really tremendously helpful and just calming for me during these anxious times. For tip number two, I want to talk about something that is called brain dump, or in other words, releasing your thoughts. This is often can be achieved with something like journaling. And yet I found it really difficult to do something like freestyle journaling. I do feel like I hear from everywhere that journaling is really good for you and you if you sit there and you just keep on writing it could be really therapeutic and you can 
sort of uh, write down all your thoughts and it can be very sort of releasing and bring you the state, state of calmness. However, when I try to do it and I take a piece of paper trying to write out my thoughts, I feel rather awkward and also overwhelmed because I don't know where to start, which I guess probably if you practice will get better. But what I do agree with is that writing and processing your thoughts that are worrying you can be very therapeutic. So here I do encourage you to experiment with what works for you. Through a few different attempts I realized that what helps me to calm down and just release my stress and release the thoughts that I have is writing about my childhood memories. Some days I would ramble about uh, reading for 10 hours on the veranda and uh, going through my father's library. Some days I would write about my grandfather who passed away from Alzheimer and how I dealt with that loss. And I found that releasing these thoughts that sit at the back of my mind and yet somehow related to my past, to my childhood, my student years, that's helped me a lot to unburden my mind and create a new space for new ideas and new thoughts. So this has been what really worked for me, but I know that everybody is different. Somebody would love freestyle journaling and just sitting there with a piece of paper and letting their thoughts out. And somebody would maybe prefer things like gratitude journal and writing three things you're grateful for and three things that you accomplished and having more maybe structured planners. But I do recommend exploring different techniques of a brain dump either through a planner or a gratitude journal or a freestyle journal or just writing about something that you passionate about maybe it's creative writing or maybe it's like me just writing about my childhood and my teenage years and processing things and traumas that has been in me for some time I did find that this technique really helped me to create new space for new ideas, new memories and sometimes give me a different perspective on my past experiences. Also, it's really fun to go back and reread those memories that you wrote a while ago and just see what you were thinking about and what you cared about and just basically see through that the person that you were before. So my tip number three is exploring the techniques of the brain dump to not hold all the anxiety in your head, but let it out either through writing or expressing your emotions in any other way. The last thing that I found really helpful for me is to minimize consumption and focus on creation. Right now, these days, we consume more information than ever before. We have very easy access to information and literally within our fingertips, we can see what happens anywhere in the world. Yet by increasing the time that we spend on consuming information, we are decreasing the time that we spend on creating. And here I'm not talking about the creation uh, in terms of having an, the end goal, so not writing with the goal to write the book and not drawing with the um, goal to have a painting and sell it or something like that. Here I'm talking about the creation with no end goal in mind. To give you an example, this would be when you take a guitar and just start playing the melody and playing with the chords just be because you feel like it, because it makes you feel good. Or when you take a pencil and you start drawing something because you have a vision in your head with no other goal just rather than just drawing. I found that decreasing the time that I spend consuming information and giving myself that quiet time where I can just be with myself, be creative, with no goal in mind, had a domino effect on different areas of my life. I felt not only more still and more calm, but also more creative in other areas of my life. Just letting your mind be out there, letting your mind ramble, letting your mind get lost in its creativity has had a pivotal effect of me feeling like I can distance myself from all the information that's coming in at me and see clearly my life, see clearly my goals, see clearly what I am trying to achieve in different areas of my life. 
So that's my third tip, which is quite short, but yet very effective. And that is to find time in your week to be creative with no end goal in mind. I can assure you that you will feel the ripple effect of that creative, calm time on different areas in your life. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for staying with me. I wanted to share with you something that I was going through and hopefully offer you some tips if you're going through, through the same things that I'm struggling with these days. I wish you a lot of calmness and clarity these days and I hope you are doing well whenever you are. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel for more exciting content coming up. I will see you in the next video. Bye!